Thank you. Our coverage continues now with Katia Stepovic and Katia, you would think that all this rain would be welcome news between our drought and our wildfires, but you learn that's not always the case. What you find out? Well, exactly, Kim. In order to put out Idaho fires like the Dixie Fire and the Deer Fire, we actually need at least a week of rain. And when you have short bursts of rainfall like we saw last night, that actually increases the risk of flash flooding. Wildfires continue to scorch the Gem State Sunday, even after a heavy storm. Uh, one of the problems we're having is these uh, storms are developing. Uh, before the rain comes, you get a lot of outflow winds from the thunderstorms, and those high uh, gusty winds can really uh, fan the flames and, and, and get the fire spreading. Logan Scherschel with the U.S. Forest Service said on Saturday, winds came out of the east on the Dixie Fire, which created 500 acres of growth overnight. We did have some weather come in uh, over the forest, but it was not widespread. There were actually some areas that missed out on some rain. But more widespread rain is expected, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Some of our larger diameter fuels uh, it takes them a lot longer to soak up that moisture uh, so they can actually hold heat through these uh, rain events, especially if they're not long duration. The heat then spreads from trees to brush, letting the fire grow and create another concern, flooding. There's not that surface grass and needle litter to really catch the runoff, so it allows a lot more water to run off uh, in those burned areas. We do still have fire resources that are out there uh, that still need access to the fire. So that's going to impact their uh, ability to move around the fire to the different locations that they need. The Forest Service says flash flooding is also a concern in the area of the Deer Fire, just a couple miles north of Arrow Rock Dam. The potential of flooding is not only dangerous for the surrounding communities, but also limits access to fight fires. With already limited resources, the public's help to limit fire activity is very much needed. We are at a preparedness level five, so resources are stretched uh, really thin nationwide. Um, so people need to do their due diligence um, and, and making sure that they're doing their best to make sure uh, human cause starts uh, remain uh, on top of their minds. And as Bree mentioned, we aren't expected to get a week's worth of rain anytime soon. And while we could see thunderstorms later this week, it won't be a repeat of last night. Now, meantime, evacuation orders are still in place for these communities surrounding the Dixie Fire. Those include Comstock, Dixie Area, Mallard and Whitewater Ranch. And we will continue to update you on the status of those evacuation orders on air and online at KTVB.com. And we know those fire crews are working around the clock to try to get those fires out. Katia, thank you.